Yo, mama. Okay, so I'm in the barn. Christmas has passed. It was a beautiful one. Um, I am wanting to get one step closer to having the hayloft completed. Well, <laughs> one step closer to working on it. I don't expect to finish it today, but this board right here, it's two boards, indicates the length and then the depth is going to be from that wall to the posts. We're not going to concrete the posts in until we know, like we actually have the frame and then we'll figure out if we need to use concrete or not. So all of this is kind of in the way if whenever I actually get things set up, I'll share with you a picture of my total overall vision. Um, right here, well, I can't explain it. It's just not possible to explain it all um, in a way that would make sense right now. So I do wanna have a small milking area here, although that's not where I want everything to stay. I'd actually, my plan is to make a doorway here that goes that is and then I do like a expansion outside of the barn I'm actually wanting to do a whole got a whole plan it's a really fun plan out there but my milking area would be there so but for now I would have a very small milking area then I would have an enclosed food area and under the loft over further down would be birthing areas or if I needed to separate an animal for any reason above would be hay and then over there where i showed you where we have a bunch of farm supplies we're going to move all that and then we want to put two we want to build one big stall with the ability of having sliding dividers put in to make it two smaller stalls and those smaller stalls would be for our smaller horses and then this big stall that's over here that the small horses are sharing that could go for a big horse because we would like to have a horse we could ride someday Someday. So right now, what I'd like to do, figure out what step two. There is a post hole that is here, but I filled it in um, because I needed to use this area for some animals during the winter and I didn't like uh, that storm that we just had. And I didn't want to chance any of them breaking their legs. So I just put the dirt back in. I'll be able to easily pull it right back out. So, should I dig that hole up? Is that what I should do with my time right now? It would be exposing a hole. That would mean that I should at least get the post in. If I were to focus on that, just digging the hole and putting that post in, that would be good because then that would mean that no animals could break their leg because the post would be in. And if that's all I did today, that's, that's, that's good, right? Yeah, okay, well, I think I might do that. Sounds good. Okay, so an error on my part is I put this hole, I just kind of eyeballed it to that board. Actually, I had already started the hole first. And then I told Joseph where I wanted the loft to end. So this board is over there a little bit too much, if you follow the line. So this hole needs to move this way about a foot. So I'm just gonna make this hole bigger. I'm trying to figure out a place to put my phone so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't have anything to really help hold it onto. There's Linda. Hi, Linda. This morning I checked for her ligaments and I did not feel them. There's Kara Lee, the goat that's named after you, Madre. And Linda, named after my Aunt Linda. <laughs> 
You know, everybody wants a goat named after them, right? <laughs> All right, well, digging holes by hand is definitely a task that gets your blood flowing. Whew, getting hot. Okay, so can you see how big this hole is? It was there. Then I was like, oh, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm like over here. So it's gonna be like this oval and we will definitely, out of this, be able to line it up with that. Whew. See, if I can just complete that in one day, that will be one thing less that I have to do tomorrow. And I'm okay with that. You know what I think is adorable? Is the way that they just watch you with such interest in what you're doing. I never would have understood how much fun it was to have a goat. Because they sound so, coming from the city, being a, a far, you know, a city girl. Never in my life thought about having a goat, but I think the best way to describe them is they're similar to a dog when they're very friendly like mine are and they want to be around you, but they don't bark or sometimes they'll jump on me, but not often. I mean, I guess it just depends if I have food in my hands. Definitely they will, but they have benefits like brush clearing and milk, but just their companionship. Here I am digging this hole and these two girls are just staring at me and it's just adorable. The girls are so cute. Pollyanna, you're so sweet. Yes, you are. Okay, I think, I think I got it deep enough. I actually might have gone a little deeper than I meant to. I hit a tree root, which is actually from a tree that's right outside right there. It was easy to go through, but I see where there was a rock rock flooring put in by the previous owner, which is nice. Um, I'll go get that post. We'll just see how this works, how it looks. Okay. So this is a six by six post and it's eight feet tall. And it's more than two feet in the ground. So I have it deeper than it should, than it needs to be. Because it's just going to be an inside. Ooh. I have to move my chandelier. Which I already knew I was going to. Because I'm going to be putting hay above. I'm excited. You guys are all so curious at what's going on in the barn. Hey, Malachi. I know. Hey, Barnaby. Just checking it out. Hey, Renabuck. Hey, Magic. How are you doing? You enjoying the sun? I have my buck and my weathers out in the yard. So he has this whole area to himself, along with food, water, and hay. He's such a sweet boy. He's already bred three of my does. I only have one more to go. And I'm hoping she goes into heat very soon talking about this one right here, copper. This one right here. That one is, I always have to look at the eyes. I think that one is clover. 
the lighter tan one. And then that other tan one that matches her, that one has brown eyes. Okay, the one that is buckskin with brown eyes, that's Tigress. He's already bred her. He bred Pollyanna, which is this one right here. He's already bred Clover, this one. We just need Copper to be bred. And she hasn't gone into heat yet, so any day now. On my calendar, she went into heat last month on the 28th. So she really should be going into heat any second. Come on, Copper. And then Linda, we're on baby watch for you, huh? You little bobbies. So I'm pretty excited because Joseph came outside, of course. Um, he's so sweet and he helped me. We got not only that post in, but we did that cross post um, just from salvaged wood that we I took down from the awning that we had in our front yard. So I left it a little bit long because we're gonna now, got my little thing in hand. This post hole I dug a couple weeks ago and because I used a six by six post down there I'm gonna use a six by po six post here too in the corner so I need to make this one bigger and then we will then I think use a string to figure out where we're gonna put these other posts and get them put in place I'll just wait until Joseph gets back. So for today, we were able to get this far post up and in the ground. And we were able to get that farthest post up and in the ground with the horizontal board as well. And then these two center posts, I have to expand the holes tomorrow so that way they will reach the string. They're just rusting in the hole, but it's obvious that I didn't put the hole exactly where it needs to go. So I will be doing that tomorrow or the next day, but hopefully tomorrow. It's gonna look good. <laughs> Linda, why are you so loud? Hey, Linda. You want some food, don't ya? Thank you for being patient, honey. It could be that I'm just misinterpreting what the ligament is. You know, I just don't know. Up to now, it felt like I knew what I was feeling for, but today it just feels kind of, I'm confused and I don't know why. So, but if this and this, because I do feel it on both sides, starting from here, tapering down if that's her ligaments that I'm feeling they're very strong because they actually it just feels like a bone so anyway maybe I totally can feel her ligaments and I just have been off today so I don't know I'm still learning but she hasn't dropped her babies are still carrying kind of high. She doesn't have that hollow can canyon that we would see. We're going to see a divot here. It's going to go down and we don't have that. She's not hollow here. So that means the babies haven't dropped. She doesn't have a full udder. And if those are her ligaments, they are very, they feel like a bone, very prominent. 
And if on the inside, I just think that I was doing it wrong all day long. It's just so weird. I don't know why today I can't figure it out, but the previous few days I have. Linda, what's going on with me, huh? Tomorrow I'm gonna dig these two holes bigger and then get them in. And then we can put a board that goes all the way across. And then we'll need to put the support boards. And then we'll need to put up the deck boards. And then we can put up hay. Wouldn't that be cool? Linda, wouldn't that be cool? And then what would be from this post to this post is my feeding area where I would have some spare bales of hay, um, the grain, alfalfa pellets, any sort of food stuff would go in here. And then between these two posts, these two sections would be birthing areas or just keeping a goat or probably a goat because it's pretty small or the babies or whatever. It's just gonna be available for uses. And then up here won't be able to hold a ton of hay, but we're trying to utilize whatever vertical storage we can. And looking forward to it. Aren't you, Linda? You're looking forward to it too? I know, it's so cool. Okay, Linda says ta-ta for now. Look at that. <laughs> Am I invading your personal space? <laughs>